All right, so we've been talking about similar triangles, and we're going to talk about the triangle proportionality theorem, which has everything to do with how parallel lines cut these sides proportionally. Now, what I want to do first is I want to show how we would use similar triangles to do this and why we're allowed to talk about this in the first place. I'll prove the triangle proportionality theorem um, in a different video. But for right now, we've got two parallel lines, and so this angle right here and this angle right here are corresponding angles, and so those two angles are the same. We've got corresponding angles over here as well. And then up at the top, we've got an angle that's shared in between two triangles. And so what I'm talking about with two triangles is I've got the small one that is 8 and 12. And then I've got the bigger one, which we're comparing it to. And so this entire thing is the length of 16 and 8 together. And so that would be... 24, and this entire thing is both of those together, and 12 plus x I can just write as x plus 12. And so I'm going to write this as 24, and as this as x plus 12. Now we've done a lot of um, a lot of proportions. I want you to notice that this is just, you can tell that the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle is just a scale factor of 3. And so I can multiply by 3. And so then 12 times 3 is going to get me 36. And so if x plus 12 has to be 36, I know that x has to be 24. So that's the short way around. I know some of you have become big fans of... Um, cross-multiplying and proportions, and so you could still do that. You could compare your 8 to your 24. You can compare your 12 to your x plus 12. I just think that cross-multiplying is easier in this case. Sorry, I just think scale factor works a lot faster, because otherwise you've got to do 8 times x plus 12, and 12 times 24, and so on and so forth. Um, and so you get 8x plus 96. 288. You subtract your 96, you get 8x equals 192. And then you divide by 8, and you get in the same spot. You get 24. All that to say is if this is 24, notice that you could just compare the pieces. And so what, when, when we say the parallel lines cut lines proportionally, um, and I should say segments proportionally, we've got 8 compared to 16 and 12 compared to 24. And so you can just compare those pieces of it. And so um, that's the triangle proportionality theorem. Now to see it in context real quick, we could look at if this is 36 and this is 48 and this is y and this is 60. Um, what I could do is I could use the similar triangles that we had done and compare the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle and I can add these 36 and the 48 up or I could just compare the 48 to the 36 and so I'm comparing those two and then I'm comparing the 60 to the Y so if I start with the 48 I better start with the 60 I could also put the 36 compared to the Y and the 48 compared to the 60 but then we can cross multiply 48 times Y 36 times 60 is 2160 I've got dividing by 48, and you get y of 45. And so this is 45 right here, and that's how you use the triangle proportionality theorem. We are going to do a couple more videos to get different uh, difficulty levels in here, so stay tuned.